Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Specialist Automotive Software Tester. We are in chapter 2 and continuing with the first topic that is 2.1 Automotive Spice. And we are still talking about the 2.1.2 as a subsegment of it that is requirements of the standard. This is the second tutorial in the series because we do have a lot of content to be covered as a part of the standards under A Spice. So we will have another part of this topic to be covered in more detail. To begin with, the next topic we are talking about is the test strategy and regulation test strategy. How exactly the test strategies are being determined when it comes to the automotive industries and generally the regulation depends on a lot of such factors which is to make sure that every time something new is implemented to an existing feature we have regulations to be done and not only that if a defect is found you also do that so in nutshell we say that these are the tests which are generally performed whenever there is a change involved. It could be from the update point of view, upgrade point of view, or if you talk from the point of adding something new to the existing, or if anything is modified in order to correct or rectify a issue, and we call that as regression testing. So as a base practice, a SPICE requires a test strategy for each test specific process and the process we know already from the previous topics. The test manager is the one who develops uh, this within the test planning process and what exactly will be the test strategy. And we know there are several approaches. We also know the principle uh, from the foundation that the testing is context dependent and thus specific to the domain you do have certain strategies. The test guidelines, project objectives, as well as the contractual and regulatory requirements will be built as the basis for this. In other more terms, the tester also knows that early testing is a principle and they generally follow all this to make sure that as many defects can be identified as early as possible will be cheaper to fix than later in the life cycle. So this also applies to the testing of the software in the automotive environment. However, another aspect comes into play where it because the test environments at highest test levels are significantly more expensive because when it comes to the production you need to deploy it in simulator and then we try to check that whether the same thing works in a real time or not or probably getting into a physical car itself like the automobile and then driving it on the streets with different temperatures and different uh, you know environment conditions and then checking the sensors and other parts of it for example for the testing at higher levels specially developed and embedded hardware is necessary and the test strategy defines the level specific test environment but also which test the tester is required to perform in which test environment the regression test strategy is an essential part of the strategy the challenge here lies in the economically sensible choice of the test cases it's really important to decide that what could be uh, feasibly done within the simulators or probably without the high cost production environments and then the things which cannot be validated without the real-time environments should be left for the real-time executions. Otherwise, we should try to do as much testing as possible within the environment which we can build within the before production. The regression strategy is another thing which defines the objective and the technique for the choice of regression test because not everything can be executed at any point of time. Thus, you need to decide on how many regression tests will be executed if any kind of changes happen and selecting them should have a very precise strategy to help you. For example, the choice can be risk-based. So only risk-based high priority risk cases can be executed and uh, you should follow the approach of breadth first and depth first, whatever fits you the best. And uh, impact analysis will definitely help you here to identify the areas the tester must focus on with regression test. However, the test manager may also ask the tester to repeat all automated test cases for each of the release. So yes, it's critically important because no matter what kind of application you're building, but specific when it comes to the automotive, we just stick to certain standards and we do have certain protocols to be followed specific to each domain. And thus it becomes important to know that how exactly the strategy can be created generally for the overall testing as well as for the regressions. The second one is how exactly we define the test documentation in ASPICE. So we do have certain standards and protocols to be followed for the test documentation when following ASPICE. 
Now for documentation of the test activities, ASPICE requires many work products that are known to the tester from the foundation level already that there are so many documentation like test cases, test conditions, we have test plan, test strategy, test summary, test progress report and whatnot, right? But same way we are just trying to recall with the status and the standard which we are going to follow in automotive. So we have a standard template. If you remember IEEE 829 was the standard which we followed in foundation but now it is specific to automotive so we have a different standard. So we have some of the specific uh, notations for each of the work product for as per ASPICE. So WP0850 is your uh, work product code for the test specifications to write the test cases, test design, procedures and so on. So we follow the standard here. And work product 852 is the standard for the test plan which is completely according to ISO IEC IEEE 291119 3 and included strategy is WP that is work product 1900. Another one is the test results, logging the results and the outcomes of each execution which is called as the work product 1350 and it includes incident or deviation report as well as test summary report as well. So they follow this common template. For each work product, ASPICE defines example of characteristics and content. An assessor can evaluate those by spot checking. For an assessor, they serve as an objective indicator for the process execution. So here we are talking assessor as an auditor who will be making sure that whether all the information are logged and they are fulfilling all the necessary details which need to be captured at any point of time when doing all these sort of activities. And then it makes sure that these indicators or these standard templates act as a reference in order to make sure that all the details are captured or anything which is missing. For the test plan, ASPICE directly refers to ISO IEC IEEE 2919314 standard. The standard also provides the templates that can be used for other required work products and can be adapted for a particular purpose. It must be ensured that within the context it contributes to the unintended purpose of the process. So yes, it's very important to make sure because when it comes to products, and especially when you talk about the safety critical system, the standards of the documentation plays a vital role. And if you have a very good uh, detailed information there, troubleshooting or understanding that how much effectiveness you have put in your testing or getting a coverage is also easy to define. And that becomes or that plays a very vital role in order to save people's life and give the satisfaction to the end user in terms of giving that accuracy as well as that coverage in terms of making sure the product is fantastic to be used. Anyway, so that's all from this particular tutorial. That is the part two of the standards of the requirement and we will be having another part on this and then moving to the next topic. So stay tuned for that. Should you have anything else team, feel free to comment below. I'll be there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.